Go fast, go fast, go fast. Yeah! Caught us our first blue crab just walking around here in the mangroves, guys. Alright, so welcome, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we wanted to do something a little different. We wanted to make a uh, shrimp and crab stew over some white rice. And uh, just a couple days ago, we were out here in the boat and we seen all the crab traps out here. Uh, so I figured uh, let's let's go check out the place with the net and here's our first crab. Let's go bring it back to the cooler and get back out here. Don't even need a boat for this, guys. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, and uh, the reason that we're going to be making a crab stew uh, is because, as you can see, blue crabs aren't very big. So, uh, to uh, enjoy the taste and flavor of the uh, blue crab, we're going to make a dish out of it. So that's awesome. I'm so excited. That's so cool. And we actually just put this net together. This was actually a really short net. And uh, last time we went fishing, somebody had left one of these poles here. And uh, so we actually just put it together before we got out here so we could have a long net. So that's our first crab. That's awesome. Good way to spot it out, babe. Now that we added a little bit of salt to our boiling water, we put the crab in there, we're gonna close the lid, and we're only gonna cook this for no more than 10 minutes. He's fully submerged. What's going on everybody this means crab stew in Spanish so today uh, we're gonna actually be uh, using the blue crab meat that you guys seen us catch you guys saw us clean it and we're gonna be making a crab stew out of it all right so the first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take care of the easy part we're gonna be eating it with white rice so we're gonna be going ahead and cooking that and today we're only gonna be cooking one cup of rice Like I said, this is super easy. One cup of rice. Go ahead and put it on high. And two cups of water. Then we're also going to do one tablespoon of salt. And guys, you can use whatever kind of oil you want. Today I'm using olive oil. One tablespoon as well. Now, while we wait for that to start uh, bubbling, 
we're going to go ahead and get some vegetable oil in here in another pot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get some oil in our pot here. And what you have to have for this dish is this um, the seasonings, the Puerto Rican seasonings. You can get these at Walmart. Uh, this one's called Recaito. Um, they also sell the ones that say sofrito, which just means that they add red peppers to it. Here in America, uh, we use uh, something called a trinity, which is onions, bell peppers, and celery. Now, in uh, these Puerto Rican seasonings, it's actually onions, bell peppers, and cilantro. And it smells amazing. So we got about, I'd say about uh, a quarter cup of oil in there. Now we're going to get some of these seasonings. Put about three tablespoons in there. Alright guys, so we got about three tablespoons of that stuff in there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, one of these sazon packets. about a tablespoon of some adobo and we're gonna go ahead and get this to a low simmer all right now I don't know if you guys could see this but the rice is starting to bubble I'm gonna go ahead and give it one good stir go ahead and cover it and this is gonna go for 20 minutes we're going to go ahead though and put it on low. Okay, so while we wait for the crab stew to uh, start boiling away, what we're, what we're practically doing is we're deep frying seasonings. We're going to go ahead and uh, wash a potato. You ain't even got to peel it. And we're going to cut up little squares. The smaller the squares, the faster these cook. Alright, we have our potato ready. Guys, it already smells amazing in here. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and cook this for about a good five minutes. Before adding a small can of tomato sauce. And the crab meat guys I'm, I'm so excited make sure you stir it a couple of times so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan all right guys now that it's been five minutes go ahead and just turn it off you can if you want go ahead and just take it off the burner Gonna go ahead and add our potatoes. Our one can of tomato sauce. And the reason I do this is because if you leave it on the um, on the burner, the tomato sauces start popping everywhere. It makes a mess. And then just for now, I'm gonna put about a half a bottle of water. So about eight ounces of water for now. gonna get it back on the burner turn it back on we're gonna take our yummy delicious blue crab meat and just chuck it all in there and let's go ahead and give that a good stir we went ahead and put it back on high we're gonna cook this for about 20 minutes guys uh, the crabs already cooked we're just trying to make sure that our potatoes are nicely cooked. Alright guys, our rice has hit 20 minutes. We're going to go ahead and turn it off. 
We're going to go ahead. Uh, our crab has been cooking for about 10 minutes. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and give it a good stir. And we're going to go ahead and give this a taste test. All right, and then in this dish, if you need to add more salt or it needs to be saltier, we just add more adobo. So we're going to add about a tablespoon's worth. And we're going to go ahead and give this about another 10 minutes before we shut it off. I am going to turn it down though. Alright guys, our crab meat has been cooking for 20 minutes. We're going to go ahead and turn that off. Grab some of our crab stew meat. Wow. Now before I chow down, I'd like for you guys to do me a solid and um, if you guys could subscribe to our channel, I'd really like to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of this year. So alright guys, let's give this a try. I already know it's going to be bomb. Alright, here we go guys. Oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. I can't believe how easy this is to make. I mean, granted, catching the crabs is the hardest part. Mmm, potatoes are delicious. The rice is delicious. Now, I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch me eat this whole plate. So, I'm glad you guys could have joined us today. Please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time guys, take it easy.